One of Lobo head football coach Mike Loxley's off-the-field controversies is now officially over, and the outcome of the other could be announced as early as tomorrow. The embattled coach spoke with News 13 tonight. Jim Winchester has the latest from the Newsplex. Well, Dick, the question that remains unanswered tonight, what, if any, punishment will Loxley face as a result of allegedly punching his wide receivers coach, J.B. Gerald, a few weeks ago? Lobo coach Mike Loxley's fate and possible punishment is now in the hands of UNM's Human Resources Department. Sources tell News 13 their investigation into Loxley's alleged assault on wide receivers coach J.B. Gerald is now complete. ESPN is reporting the outcome of that report will be released tomorrow. Loxley told News 13 tonight he hasn't been told of any decision. Meanwhile, Gerald has yet to return to the Lobo's sidelines, and it looks like he never will. Gerald has been placed on pay administrative leave and Vice President Paul Krebs asked him to turn in his keys and cell phone last week. Gerald has done that. J.B. Gerald, we've heard that uh, he turned his keys in and his cell phone. Is he still part of the team? Are you, you know, do you have any say in what's going on with that right now? Uh, I know nothing about it. I know the human resources is still uh, finalizing their investigation, but all that other stuff I, I really don't know anything about. But there is a bit of good news for the embattled first-year coach. UNM announced today that the university, Loxley, and former Loxley assistant Sylvia Lopez have resolved their differences over an Equal Employment Opportunity Commission complaint involving age and sex discrimination. Lopez was transferred out of Loxley's office last spring after she claimed Loxley told her she wasn't attractive enough to entice recruits. According to UNM's statement released today, Lopez will remain employed with the university. She's quoted in the statement as saying, I truly wish the best for Coach Loxley and hope he has a great season and career with UNM. I regret that this misunderstanding may have created a negative perception of Coach Loxley. When asked about the resolution of the EEOC complaint, Loxley only commented that the university release says it all. Dick, back to you. All right, Jim, in the last line of that news release, UNM states that Ms. Lopez will continue to be a season ticket holder in all Lobos.